Since 1846, Vlisco has been a brand that empowers and inspires African women. Now in its ninth year, Vlisco Women's Month celebrates and honors the achievement of Ghanaian women who are contributing positively in diverse ways to society and are an inspiration to other women. The theme for this year's Vlisco Women's Month campaign is Unite for Better. Why? Women united create a strong force that can break down many barriers. Women united to build a better and more gender balanced world. Women united for a better and equal future in a COVID-19 world. Women united are active drivers for positive change. Women united inspire other women to achieve their true potential. Vlisco ambassadors past and present embody this theme as they are role models and over the years they've been supporting and inspiring other women to achieve their dreams. Also, Vlisco has been supporting this effort with the Vlisco Mentoring Program, which was launched two years ago with the aim of creating more long-lasting impact with women across Ghana. The program empowers young women and gives them a unique opportunity for professional and personal development through the power of mentoring. This year's Vlisco Women's Month campaign started last week with an online pre-teaser campaign for people to guess the identity of the ambassador and also have the chance to win some amazing Vlisco prizes. We're here now to unveil the Vlisco ambassador for 2021, who is the beautiful and multi-talented Yawa Hansen Kwao, executive director for Emerging Public Leaders and founder of Leading Ladies Network. Congratulations, Yawa. Thank you. It's such an honor. So, look, welcome to the Vlisco family. It's a great place to be. I can tell you that. Thank you. All right. So we'll chat for a bit so people can get to know a bit more about you and what you do. And I'm sure we'll be all excited to find out that Yawa is the person to lead Vlisco through 2021 and beyond as their ambassador. So Yawa, what does it mean to you to be selected as the new Vlisco ambassador? And what do you hope to achieve in this role? Well, Kokui, being selected as the Blisco ambassador is such an honor, first and foremost. I feel very flattered. I feel very humbled, really, to be chosen to represent women in this country because there's nothing, nothing that is ordinary about Ghanaian women. No, so I think this says no. a lot um, about what Blisco as a brand represents but also about the things that I've probably not really seen as big deals being celebrated. So I, I feel honored and I feel a weight of responsibility to leverage this opportunity for the benefit of others, particularly through mentorship. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that in a second. The theme for International Women's Day 2021 is women in leadership, achieving an equal future in a COVID-19 world. This obviously is to celebrate the tremendous efforts that women are making and girls as well around the world to shape a more equal future and to recover from this pandemic. So first, tell us about the role you play as a leader. You mentioned mentoring. What do you do within your community? How do you leverage this to support other women and to create more equality? Well, the truth is I wear different hats. I'm executive director of a really amazing organization called Emerging Public Leaders. And we're helping to get really talented young people into government service. But I'm also founder of a women's leadership organization, the Leading Ladies Network. And I am passionate about creating a world where women are normalized as leaders, where we unearth the leadership that I believe every woman already possesses. And we started this organization in 2009 and have had the opportunity to provide mentorship, career coaching and guidance to young girls in the school system. And now I'm amplifying that work by making sure that young, I'm creating pathways for young women into government service. I wanna see more women in parliament. Mm. I wanna see more women running don't, don't for, we all, for president. You know? I wanna empower women with the tools that they need yeah. to be effective in the public sphere. And so that's why I'm really excited about this ambassadorship, the opportunity to leverage these dual roles that are so interconnected to create more opportunities for young women who want to raise their hand for leadership. I think that leadership isn't something we do to women. We help women unearth the leadership they already possess. I love that, the leadership we already possess. 
Well, let's talk a bit about the pandemic and the effect that it's had on women and girls. What advice do you have for women, for girls who have felt the impact of this COVID-19 pandemic? Some may have felt it negatively, some may have felt it positively. You know, some people may have had some positive things come out of all of this, but what advice do you have for women? Well, you know something, Kokri, women are resilient. And this pandemic, like any other um, disruption, I greatly admire the way women are rising to the occasion and weathering the storm. I think that in many ways, women's lives are one pandemic after another. <laughs> we are bombarded with different yeah. challenges. We're, we're trying to juggle the career, the home, yeah. the marriage and other relationships. And I think that we mm. are definitely a little more astute um, as a result of this. But the truth is the economic impact of this pandemic is being felt. Women's businesses that were once yeah. thriving are now hurting. There are a lot of people who are enduring uh, physical and violence because they're now constrained in an environment with their abusers. So there are some real headaches to solve, that's the truth. And I really, my advice in a moment like this is to, to lean into community. And that's why I think Visco's theme for this month, Women Unite for Better, is just such an important theme that we cannot succeed in isolation. We need each other. Sometimes I just need to hear someone say, it's going to be okay, keep going. Sometimes I need someone to share my dreams and goals with and help shape it to adapt to this new way of doing things. And that's why I think that in spite of the, the pandemic and its challenges, there's still opportunity if we lean into community and if we unite and learn one from another and if we support each other, both emotionally, economically, in the season like this, I want to buy from women entrepreneurs. Yes. I want to buy every product I'm buying. If there's a woman who's selling it, she's who I want to patronize. Mm -hmm. Because the statistics also show us that when women have economic resources, the trickle-down effect for community is way amplified in a way that it isn't for the other gender. So there's just so much opportunity, even in a moment like this, if we would all be very deliberate about creating an architecture of support yep. around women and girls. You've segued perfectly into what was going to be my next question about working collectively and why it's important for women to unite for better, as the theme says. And I think you've said it all really beautifully in a nutshell. But you've achieved so much in your career. What do you think has been the highlight of your career to date? It might be difficult because I'm sure there are so many, but what stands out to you? You know, the opportunity to be Vlesco ambassador is definitely a highlight. <laughs> definitely. You know, getting yeah. dolled up, wearing these amazing <laughs> clothes for sure. I do love your outfit. Who made this? Well, thank you very much. There's a, an amazing designer, uh, Kofi Akutia, uh, Akutia yes. who figured out my body really well. <laughs> he did a great job. I so, love it. Yeah. Thank you so love much. It. Thank you so much. And I really, you know, but honestly, I like to look at achievement in very simple terms. Mm -hmm. Is there someone who points to me and says that because she exists, mm -hmm. I have hope for the future? Yeah. There's nothing more reassuring mm -hmm. than hearing from a, mentor, a mentee, someone I mentored, yeah. someone I created opportunity for, to say, because of what you said, because of what you did, or because of this advice you gave, this is the effect that it's having on me. Mm -hmm. I think that's way better than any award or any recognition because at the end of the day, I really believe this one thing, that we can't be our best selves by ourselves. I am who I am by the grace of God, mm -hmm. demonstrated through people, many of whom are women, yeah. who have taken mm -hmm. their time to tell me, hey, this thing you're doing, don't <laughs> do it, or who have let me learn from their example or you've taken the time to coach me. Mm -hmm. And so I feel the weight of responsibility to pay that forward mm -hmm. so that other people have the opportunity to point to me. So for what I call achievement is, is those words of, of affirmation yeah. from people that I have helped or people who have just looked at my example and have felt inspired. You know, Yawa, just in this short period of time, you've given us so many nuggets of wisdom, so many takeaways, and I'm sure young women watching you are highly inspired and really looking forward to what you're going to bring 
to this ambassadorship. Congratulations once again.